Hey, what's going on? To quick for you coming in my next video. This is my weekly updated shout out video. So I'm going to go ahead and start out with my shout outs. This week's first shout out goes out to Chili Chill 68. He has a Mini E Revo and a Helion Animus. Then he also has a two wheel drive slash. He does unboxings, upgrades, how tos, onboards, bashes. His last video was a unboxing from Hobby Town or an unbagging, whatever you want to call it. Uh, some parts that he needed. Uh, definitely go check him out. That's Chili Chill 68. Uh, my next shout out this week goes out to 13 Biscuit 30. He has a wrestler that he's named Cardinal. Uh, he does unboxings, runs, bashes, upgrades, updates. He does giveaways. His last video was what I'm calling the selfie video. It's where, you know, he has a camera and he's showing him, he pointing at himself and he's just talking to the camera. Just stuff that's going on with him and his everyday life and everything. But one, one thing is that with that wrestler that he's building, or, you know, I, I say he's built, it's built, he runs it, but uh, he's he has plans for it, he has a lot of plans. If you go back and check out, uh, I think it's like my plans for my wrestler or something like that, his video, and he basically breaks it down on what he would like to do. Yes, I'm saying what he would like to do. Uh, he is a younger gentleman, you know, funds aren't re readily available. So uh, if, if, if you can look at that video and if, if you see stuff that you can help him out, it, it'd be awesome if you can, you know, surprise him with something. You know, yeah, I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure he, he'd appreciate it. He's he's trying to build his wrestler up. It's 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 not stock, but it's not upgraded. You know, you know, it's not fully upgraded, nothing like that. But uh, it, it you know, it'd be nice if you could help him out. Yeah, that's 13 biscuit 30. This week's last uh, shout out goes out to Hawkeye 3188. He has a rustler that he's named Beast. Uh, it's a 70 mile an hour plus rustler. Then he also has a bandit that he's named Mango. Then he also has a Stampede 4x4. He recently purchased a Mugen MBX7 Eco. It, nice car, real nice car. Then he also, even after that, he purchased himself a GTP2E uh, that he's doing the 8S system with that. I'm real excited just recently subscribed to him I didn't even know hey, Hawkeye I know you've been giving me comments on my videos and stuff and I didn't realize that you were a speed guy if, you know I, I, I'm into the speed runs so if you guys do speed runs let me know please but yeah he does overviews unboxings updates shout outs and his last video was a uh, uh, just uh, what's going on with his 8s GTP and a new body he put on it or actually it's the original body but the paint job he did do it I should say um, then he also does shout outs on that video and yep I got a shout out yeah thank you very much appreciate it appreciate it very much so that, that's it for this week's shout outs if you want a shout out make sure you ask for one comments below I'll be more than happy to give you one uh, I want to start off by congratulating my sticker giveaway winner which was Ma Massa N so I'm going to get right into my Athna, if you guys have been watching, it's been running great numbers, you know, or what, what I consider to be great numbers. It, you know, it, it's running good. It, it is. I had one situation after those those last two runs. I did the, the dual 160 mile an hour runs. I was heading out to Rio Vista, another town, and I came by this road and decided that I'm going to give it a shot. So it was a third run on the same batteries. Um, so I wasn't expecting high numbers, but took the car, you know, park, parked my, the van, jumped on top of the van, took the car out, and to the left of me was a, the road I'm on, and then it, it went to a T, you know, a crossroad, and it had a curb across the street. I was planning on going to the, to the crossroad and running it away from the crossroad, because to the right of me, it, the road went you know, a mile at least. Um, but where I situated myself, I situated myself right there because I couldn't go further away from the curb because down the road, a couple hundred feet was a dip in the road where I couldn't even see the bottom of the road. It, it just disappeared, then the road came back up. But anyways, uh, so I was taking the car away from me and if you guys seen MTC Tookie's video where he was getting attacked by the bugs, yeah, I mean, I was getting swarmed. I was literally, there was bugs all over me. There was, you know, on my arms. I was trying to ignore them just so I can get a run in. I was even mentioning on the video 
Uh, I don't know if you can see the bugs flying around. I assume you can because there were tons of them. There were tons. They were everywhere. Um, but as I'm trying to swat the bugs away, I, I'm dummy me, I lost track of the car. Look back at the car and it's getting close to the T. Go to hit the brakes. Of course, my, you know, as you guys know, my brakes are almost off. So the car goes rolling and hits the curb and the back end of the, you know, basically hit the curb, the back end of the car bounced up, um, came back down, had no response from the car, thought I ran out of range or something, so I got off the van, started walking over. I'm explaining all this because I, I thought I was recording it on video, but apparently I never hit the record button or it stopped or something, but I never got any of the vo video footage. So, what happened was I get over the car and, uh, right off the bat, you see pins are in but the front end's loose yeah then I pulled the back pins off it snapped snapped both fronts again but this time because it because it hit so I wouldn't say so hard well I guess it was you know it, the GPS only reads 38 but that wasn't I, I didn't do 38 into the end of the curb I was doing 38 when I was getting it away from me, then I started slowing down, then the bat bugs were attacking me, and then, like I said, I hit the brakes and hit the curb. It had to have been doing at least 15, though, you know, 15, 20 miles an hour, I'd say. And it just, it just, if you could even see this, let me pull you off the stand so you get a better view of this. Um, it just absolutely demolished my fiberglass. You can see this, thing, it just completely just shattered it. So I will be picking all of this off. You can see, I mean, if you could see it all, you see chunks of it just everywhere, just all the way, all the way to the back end. And this is, if you remember where it was lifting, yeah, I can definitely take it all off now. You can see that. So I will take off as much as I can of this fiberglass. I'm not going to make too much mess, but I went ahead and picked up the. If you see that, it's the two ounce. This was, the what I put on here was three quarter ounce, which is just way too light, because, I mean, there's fiberglass in this, but it just literally just falls apart. It's just, it was just way too lightweight. So I will, we'll go back and use the two ounce and reinforce it. Um, but that, that's, you know, that's no big deal. Not, nothing major there. It's just more time spent on doing the body. So let me get the body out of the way. As you see, you know, I got more front body mounts as well, so that's not a big deal there. Um, and this this is where the big deal is. Okay, GPS went flying off. Let me get you back on the stand. Yeah, all right. So the GPS went flying off. Nothing happened to it though. It you know still works and everything, and uh, no no problems there as you'll see here in a second. There it is. Thirty thirty one point or thirty thirty eight point one miles an hour. Yeah, no no big deal there. Whatever. And uh, but what what happened was. There's my other battery. I had to charge this just to make sure it's still a good battery. Yeah, it charged up perfect. Okay, my my batteries are in here like so. What happened was when it hit the curb, both batteries slid forward. The left battery, this outside battery, doesn't have much room to go because of this plate here. But this inside battery, get you off the stand. And look at this. The inside battery slid forward, hit that post. And just absolutely demolished my brand new battery. Um, not happy about that. Not happy. Look at that. Just demolished it. I was I was pretty upset when I seen that. Um, then I went to go on the computer to go ahead and purchase another one of these because, as I mentioned on my last video, I do have a little bit of money saved up. Um, so I was going to go ahead and purchase a new battery, and they are out of stock. Uh, out of the U.S. warehouse, and I really don't want to wait three weeks to get one from China or or pay the shipping from Australia or Great Britain. Um, so I am going to order another battery. There's no doubt about that. It's just for now. I know. I know it's not recommended. I know I probably shouldn't even be doing it. But for now, I'm going to throw in a Thunder Power 6600 with the Turner G5000 on top of it.
and then I'm going to run those those two. So I will be running back to six cell, but I won't be doing more than one pull on the trigger at a time. Even if it's a bad one, I'll go home, charge the batteries completely back up. Because they are different C ratings. This, as you know, is a 65-130. This is only a 35-70. So um, I want to make sure I don't burn this battery up because this is a, an expensive battery. So... Uh, yeah, I'm just throwing that in, throwing this one on top, and away we go, back to 6L. Uh, yeah, well, that, you know, that, that's what happened. Then, dummy me, to top it off, the bumper, I left it out there in the gutter. I completely forgot to pick it up. I was upset about my battery, just grabbed my car and started walking back, and left my bumper with the weights there. Um, I don't know if it'll still be there or not. I'll, I'll go out and check. If it's not there, I'll order another bumper. But... That's where I'm at with often now, so it's, I, like I said, I have the front post, it's just uh, weight and a bumper. I guess the bumper you don't really need to run the car. I could, which I probably will, just strap on some weights right on here, then run the car until I get a new front bumper. But yeah, I'm not, I'm not stopping, I'm not slowing down, I, I, want, I definitely want to keep running the car. So, we'll see where I go, we'll see what happens. Um, then... Besides that, my plane. If you seen the video just before this one, I was flying. I was up in the air. It was flying around. You see here, this is the new motor that I purchased in my other video. It's still in there. Didn't even need it. Um, there was just a little metal ring around the old motor and it got bent up and was hitting the edge of the motor. So it wasn't allowing it to spin. Uh, just bent that little piece out of the way, and it, oh, you know, away it went again. So yeah, if you see the video, I was flying. Uh, it felt good to be in the air again. It felt good to be somewhat under control. Um, you know, it, it it was what it was, and it was it was fun. It was fun. I want to get back out there and do it again real soon. I might go do that right now after I do this video because it looks like the wind has calmed down. It started getting windy. That's why I didn't do the second pull. But it looks like the wind's calmed down. I might go go try it again real quick. We'll see. We'll see. All right, well, uh, besides that, I really don't have much to talk about. Keep watching. I'll get some more videos out. All right, I'll talk to you later. Peace.